Okay, so after watching my video that I just posted a minute ago, I realized that I didn't give much context of my experience in Canada. And I want to give you some of my experience as to what led to me moving back home. So when you move there, you realize that in the taxes and credit score plays a big role in their society. And if you don't have a good credit score, it can affect you getting an apartment. It can affect you getting a lot of stuff. So when we were apartment hunting, we realized that you had to, one, apply for these apartments and then you have to put credit scores. And at that point, we had to leave that blank because, you know, we were just moving from the Bahamas, so we didn't have credit scores. Well, the apartment that we finally settled on after going to like three or four apartment tours, we applied and the landlord, she was very transparent with us and she uh, let us know that, hey, I have other people that are applying for this apartment who have better credit scores than you guys, but it's just something about y'all that I love. And with that, she gave us the apartment. Now, when we got into all of the expenses that came along with the apartment, we had to pay, because we didn't have credit score, we had to prove that we can afford this apartment. So we had to pay four months of rent in advance on top of the security deposit and the last month's rent. So all of that totaled to like 10K. Then the area that we lived in, we realized that we needed a car. So that was another 7K. And like I said, we was prepared going there. So we had the money on hand. But you start living in the system, you realize once you're going into the grocery stores or whatever store you're going into, that's another set of taxes. Then it's a whole other, um, a lot of other bills that comes along with living in those countries. So you will have to have money on hand for that. And if you're just moving, obviously you have to find a job. So once you get into the working system, I realized that the amount of taxes that come out of Canadians pay is insane. I, the job that I was working on paid 3000 a month. By the time as you get your pay, $800 had already come out of the pay. And that's just income tax. That isn't you paying for your insurance and other expenses like gas and stuff that comes along with living, you know what I mean? So a lot of it is a, it's a very expensive country to live in. Yes, it probably will provide opportunities, but you're going to have to pay to live there like a lot of money and after living there for a while you realize the culture shock really hits home when you for months your family is the only family if you moved with a family that you're seeing for months on end you're not seeing anyone that's your skin color because it's predominantly a more white country especially depends depending on where you move and we lived in the niagara area um, maybe if we had moved to Toronto, it might have been a different experience or somewhere else. I don't know, but I only can go off of my experience and to live in those bigger cities is way more expensive than where we was living and where we were, where we lived was already expensive. And after, when you first move there, it's great. Especially if you move in the summertime, it's great. You know, the weather's great. And then the weather change happens and you get down into October where it starts to snow and man, when I tell you that is um very taxing on the body and the mental, you will come outside and you're just grateful that the sun is out because you go on weeks without seeing the sun. Mind you, it's still freezing, but you're seeing the sun. Like it, it affects you a lot. It winter blues is a serious thing over there, and you can become depressed. And a a lot of that played a role in my decision to move back home. Then we started to think, okay, we're we're gonna if we're gonna make over here our home, we want to get a home. When we started looking at the cost of homes over there, just a two bedroom house in the area that we were looking at was like five hundred k plus. At that point, you're becoming a slave to mortgage. You'll be paying that mortgage until probably the day you die, like because it's so expensive depending on your job, and. All of that we compared we compared living there and living in the Bahamas in which in when we left our our jobs weren't that bad our lives in the Bahamas wasn't that bad so for us it wasn't a hard decision to say okay well we probably could move back home where we would have a better quality of life so for some people it might be different your experience that's why I keep saying 
it's I am only giving it off of my experience and based off of my life. I cannot speak for anyone else. Someone else might be in Canada living the best life compared to what they lived in the Bahamas, in which and it works for people like that. But for me, where life wasn't that bad, it wasn't that hard of a decision to say, hey, I'd rather come home and continue my life home, which in that worked for me. My daughter, she lived in Canada with us whilst we were there. She loved it. She wants to go back to college and I don't mind her going back there because like I say, for a single person, maybe it's a different experience. Someone is, especially someone who is young going off to college, it might be different, but you have even persons who were living over there during our time and they were in college and they moved back home too. So, you know, everyone experience is just different. And all I tell you is if you're going to move there, save, be prepared for the culture shock. Be prepared to hit speed bumps and know that it's not going to be easy all the time. Even as simple as us getting our driver's license, it was hard. You have to do your research with everything. Think about your life. Think about everything in your life that makes life worth living for you and do your research on it. You want to get a car, do your research on it. Driver's license, do your research. Apartment hunting, you have to do your research. Even in terms of the area that you live in, the area that you live in might affect the amount of jobs that are available because the area that we was is a small amount of people and because of that, the job availability wasn't the moving to Canada and then moving back to the Bahamas. It honestly gave my husband and myself a newfound appreciation for the Bahamas because you realize that life back home isn't as bad as you think it is. But sometimes you have to move in order to realize that. And for us, we was able to get our scratch our itch and come go over there, live for a little while and then come back home. And life home is great for us. Like we were able to move back home, get our home. We're, we're now... You know, we have a kid, another child, and it's not as bad as we thought it would have been. So, like I say, everyone's life is different. Everyone's experiences are different. And you just have to experience certain things for yourself. But I'm just giving it based off of what I experience. So, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. And I'll get back to you on that. But I will make more videos on the topic. So... Look out for those videos.